Can you dig it, baby? I mean, Soundwaves Radio is going to rewrite the radio game book, baby. I mean, we're going to get the best artists, the hottest shows, the hottest personalities, and we're going to stir it all up, you dig? So if I invite you up here to rap a taste on it, you better be slick with the words, baby. I mean, my people are not for the shenanigans, you dig? So let's wrap a taste on it. Welcome back to the festivities, ladies and germs. You like, when I, you like when I say that? Rough, rough. Okay. <laughs> All right. We are in the building today. We are wrapping the taste on none other than Mr. Illadelph himself. Come on, give it up. Yeah, yeah. Feel good to be home. Feel good to be home. Well, welcome back. It seems like you've only been here last month. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so for the people who only know you as a radio personality tell them what you really do um my love hip-hop music um i'm a recording artist independent artist uh do a lot of my recording here soundwave radio um soundwave studio rather uh soundwave music group you know however you want to call it um my passion started from a young age and i'm here man music is everything hey you have it sounds good Oh, uh, tell the people, uh, what you got cooking up? I know you got something up your sleeve. Man, I'm uh, actually working on a project on the AF, uh, which is the label that I'm rocking with right now. Uh, we're doing great things. Shout out to Matthias, Clay. All bars. I know All him. All bars. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, Ted, Mo, the whole on the AF family. Working Ted on the project ain't never right had now. me on his TV show. I want to be on the TV He's show. actually working on the show right now. You could be on it. He's doing a comedy skit. Oh, so, you know yeah. I'm funny. You got that. Oh, okay. Right. Um, but, you know, working on that project, then um, eventually once we finish that up, I'll be working on a solo project as well. Um, I'm, I'm just grinding, man. I got a whole bunch of interviews lined up, uh, performing in San Juan, Puerto Rico in June. Puerto Rico! Yeah, so just traveling, man, moving, getting on the grind. A lot of conversations with Mac Arthur Clutch, man, it just kind of help you put things in perspective, you know? I do it like I'm doing it for TV. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> Brutal. <brutified. laughs> so, well, like when 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 it comes to your your rap style, you know what I mean? How do you compare yourself to the greats, or do you compare yourself to the greats? Every time I pen a line, I'm competing with Kendrick Lamar. I'm competing with J Cole. I'm competing with Nas. I'm competing with Jay Z. Like you're very I- competitive. I got to be. I got to be. That's how you stay relevant. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Um, this is a context sport. Right, right. And uh, and there's no whole bar at that. You know what I mean? So every time I pen something, man, I'm competing with the greats. I man, I got to. You know, it's in order to achieve greatness, you got to set a level that's so far ahead that you got to work hard to get there. And and that's where I'm at with mine. Woo! Sounds good. That's Sounds food good. for thought. <laughs> now y'all do the dishes. <laughs> now who you got up on this project? Who you got up in the tuck as Ooh. far as collabos and, and production? Um, Right now I got Matthias. All bars. All bars. I know him. Del P. <laughs> PZ. Um, yeah. Brie Shea is going to be on there. Ooh, Brie Shea. Um, well, Miss Kenning? Yes. Miss Kenning. Uh, Clay, the Philly native, trash man. And then for... I'll have two joints where I'll have two solo pieces. So I'm trying to get ja- uh, not Jasmine, uh, Jaguar right mm-hmm. situated now. Um, if that opportunity presents itself, I got to go to one of her events and uh, we're gonna talk business there. And then I, I haven't figured out who I'm gonna have on the next one, but I need I need some heavy hitters, man, because I'm trying to I'm investing in me, and in investing in me, I have to invest in everything that I'm a part of. So for sure. Now one of the things I noticed from working with you so much is that you don't do like filler songs you don't do the trap songs that have no subject matter and you're just talking a whole bunch of you know stuff in it everything you do has a subject matter and the songs have a goal how important is that to you is or is that just something that's just inherently you both okay Um, the objective is to build a legacy if I'm talking a whole bunch of nothing, I expect to have a legacy of nothing. Absolutely. But if I'm looking to build, develop, grow, um, become a solid all-around individual, because at the end of the day, I'm a husband, I'm a father, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I'm a brother, I'm a son. 
you know, so I want to make sure that people understand the purpose, you know what I mean, of implementing these things. So that's what my music is about. I'm tired of a society that gravitates toward nothing. Mm -hmm. Listen, there's something over here. All you got to do is want that something. That's it. So that's, that's it. where. And then it's your job to let them know that that something exists. You know what I'm saying? If they don't know you got that alternative dope, they're going to keep smoking the same dope they've been smoking. I mean, I look at it like this. The music that I do is truthful. The thing about a lie, a lie spreads quickly. Absolutely. You know, a lie is nothing. Mm -hmm. But when the truth get there, you know it's the truth. And right. eventually you start to do right. Like mm -hmm. you say all the time, if you know right, you do right. You do better, you do better. You do better. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And then with, with that being said, you know, uh, the climate of music is, unfortunately, what, what we're speaking against, you know, with trap music, of course. Now... With you having a different message, you know you're taking the hard road. How do you, like, what is your tr strategic plan to get around the fact that nobody wants to hear anything with substance? I, I, I pay tribute, uh, tribute to a lot of the greats, but at the same time, the people that's in the forefront of doing the type of music that I'm doing, if Kendrick Lamar can do it, I can. If J. Yeah, Cole can do it, I can. but out of a million, there's only one Kendrick Lamar, there's only one J. Cole. And, and every time we have this conversation, you hear the same five names pop up. How do you plan to become in the sixth and seventh name? Like, basically. you gotta have a plan. You gotta surround yourself with like-minded people. My thing is, I want to have me working for me. I want to have me working with me. So, for every one person that gravitates towards me, they know five other people that's gonna gravitate towards them and bring them to me. So, having a plan, marketing yourself in the right area—that's the main thing. Marketing. You know what I mean? Some people don't know truth until you tell them it's the truth. So, how am I gonna sell me? I gotta sell me because I'm my music. So at the end of the day, because people are nosy, I pay on, I play on that. This is what I am. This is who I am. Do you want to know about me? Then you start filling air like like what Jay Z did. He was smart. I'm reading his book right now, Empire um, Empire Mind State Empire State of Mind. And what he does is, in his book, he breaks it down and he makes it a simple science. I have to be everywhere. So now the market plan for me is how do I be everywhere and how do I be a brand that everybody's interested in? So understanding my brand marketing my brand, moving my brand into an area that I know is going to succeed, but at the same time being able to step outside. So I'm learning as I'm in these areas, as I'm marketing myself in these areas. Then I slowly gravitate, gravitate towards what I've learned, increasing my branding, moving my branding, and bringing more exposure to my brand. So it's all marketing. Proper marketing, good planning, and like-minded people takes you where you need to be. Boom. So, uh, you know, you and I are Facebook friends. Yes, sir. And matter of fact, we're just social Real life media friends. friends all over. All <laughs> and, uh, you know, we talk every day. Yes, sir. And just knowing that, you know, you're with your wife and how much you love your wife. Do you take an extra special effort to shield her from certain things that may happen on social media? Or do you just alert her that this is happening, but... You know, me and you are me and you. We have a conversation to where we have the conversation to where I'm open with her about what happens as far as the music is concerned. Like everybody that I run with, like you've met her, you know what I mean? Um, everybody that I meet, they have to know her. Now, what she chooses to shield herself from as far as social media is concerned, I still turn around and I talk to her face to face because that's our relationship. Um, the communication. So even though Via is not social media, it's, you know, hey, this is what's going on, wife. How uh, how should we approach this? I include her. Um, so she doesn't feel left out. But she's not a social media person either. She got a Facebook that she don't even... She go on there like every... Once a month. So social media is not her thing. She talked to me yesterday. I was kind of surprised. She was like, yeah, I'm thinking about getting an Instagram so I can see what you're doing on Instagram. I said, the same thing you're going to see on Facebook is the same thing you're going to see on my Instagram. And she was like, oh, okay. And that was it. That was in the conversation. So I guess she just, she throws her little shots to see where I'm at with mine. But other than that, that's a typical woman. You so know I, what I mean? I've seen countless times, and I'm sure everybody out there and you guys as well have seen, you know, activity on social media come in between people and destroy relationships. You know, and if, if you allow that, and because you are who you are and the way you carry yourself, a lot of women are attracted to you on social media. I be watching. Yeah, I be watching. I see yeah. what's going on. Yeah. And and I be looking, I'm like, wow. 
how is he gonna handle that well what i do is i i, I let my wife understand first of all my wife knows me um second of all i let her understand that what you see and where i'm at it's not who wants me it's who i want and at the end of the day, everybody's competing to be you, but you're the number one spot. When the lights go off, I'm laying in bed next to you. You know what I mean? At nine o'clock, I ain't out in the streets unless I got, and if I got to go somewhere, you know where I'm at. You can pick up the phone and call me and I'm going to answer. You know, so I let her know her place. That's my job. And then letting her know her place, she's confident in who she is as my wife and as a woman. So. How has uh, being a father influenced your music? <sighs> My motivation, man. You you know, you know. Uh, well, let, let the people yeah, know. Right. My motivation, man. Every time I think about my girls, man, I smile, man. Tell them uh, how many you got. Man, I got four girls. Names. My, my oldest, 21, unique. Uh, my second oldest, 17, B18, Cherish. My took my 13-year-old, Kylie's, and then my six-year-old. My uh, You see it with me all the time. Man, glow when you Jordan, talk about the man. Baby. Listen, man, you don't understand, man. Hey, listen, Jordan, <laughs> man, you know me and Jordan relationship, man. Pop, you got to hooked on popcorn, man. <laughs> Uncle Sean and Popcorn, man. Y'all go together, man. And, and of course, you know, Kylie's was, was a student of the month. Yep, yep. On, on Soundways Radio. Yep. And my, my, my 21 year old is making me a granddad, man. So, I mean, life is good. My 18 year old, she's athletic. You know what I mean? So, life is good, man. But these, this is what I'm building the, op- the opportunity to have a legacy for my girls. That's what drives. I mean, it helps me face the odds. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, at a certain point, when you hit a certain age, you become obsolete to the music world. You know, Mm -hmm. hey, you're too this, you're too that. But seeing them saying, Dad, I'm proud of you, man, like, you don't understand, man. Like, it helps me go hard, man. It helps me do what I need to do. So it's a big influence. It plays a major role in everything that I do. All right, none. speaking on your children, do they play a role in what you say? Out of your mouth, what can be attributed to you as a as a human being and as a black man? The words that come out of your mouth, they're very important. And your kids have to own those words also. You know, so if you out here saying, you know, pop that, you know what I'm saying? If you out here saying that, then your girls gotta own that. You know, and they have to look to you and say, I'm, you know, I'm either proud of my dad because he said that or, oh, dad, you shouldn't have said that. Yeah, my, my logic is this. Um, if I treat my daughters the way that, when I treat my daughters the way they're supposed to be treated, then when some strange knucklehead come up. Come with it. And they don't, he don't do what daddy do, then they know, okay, he ain't the one for He me. ain't the one. So that's my logic. So I don't want nobody, I wouldn't want anybody running up to my daughters like, oh, hey, ho, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, no, nah, it's how you doing? My name is so-and-so, because that's how I talk to my daughter. My, my youngest will tell you, my dad, she'll be she'll be like, uh, daddy, can I have so-and-so? And I'll be like, not right now. You see me. Not right now, Jordan. We can't do that right now mm-hmm. because, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? There's no room for uh, to be curious or to step out of line because you already understand why I'm talking to you fully so you understand. Right. And I'm talking to you respectfully, even Absolutely. though you're six and I'm the dad. You Absolutely. still deserve that respect. So when you instill that in them, it's all good. You know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely. Uh, everything I say, I hold myself accountable. Because I want to be able to hold them accountable for what they do and what they say. Absolutely. Man, that is dope. <laughs> now, yo, for real, that's, that's really dope. As far as performances coming up, you said you had the San Juan joint coming up. Like, uh, Boy, you, yeah. that. you have man, to say that. Are you going to have your wife with you when you go out there? Yes. Yes. Smart man, yes. cause uh, guess what? Even if you wasn't doing nothing, she gonna think you was doing yes. something. Then you didn't do nothing. Then you big. You're a bigger <laughs> jerk than if you would have did something. You, you did the right thing, good brother. I had and, to. And, you know, it, it helps you helps you stay in line. Yes, it does. You know That's what I'm saying? Voice. Like it, it, we we all there's no superhumans. We're all weak at some point in time. You know, but if you, if you have that person there with you to say, hey, tighten up. You know what I'm saying that can help. Sometimes they don't have to say it. You can look at them and you know you know need to tighten up. Yeah, you need to tighten up. You know what I'm saying? Up. And, and that, that keeps you honest. Mm-hmm. Like my show, I got a show here in Philadelphia, the Underdog Concert. That's on February 27th. Mm-hmm. Um, she'll be there. Um, and then when I open up a Styles, for Styles P in New Jersey on February 29th, she'll be there. You know what I mean? And then when I, uh, right now in the works, I got the opportunity to open up for Maino in New York in March. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to close that deal right now. And then once that's finished and done with, then it's just getting ready for June. But in the meantime, I'll probably book a couple more shows. Okay. 
you know, in interviews just, just to stay active, you right. know what I mean? So, and then working on a project. Yeah, and then just working on a project, you know what I mean? Um, it's going to be really dope, man. So, I'm grinding. Like I said, we talk, we talk, we've talked umpteen thousand times. I mean, I've sat on that side with Sav, I've sat on that side with you, and we just kind of, you know, and then having the opportunity to work with my team, you know, ODA on the Ab Records, man. A lot of brilliant minds. Um, we still building, um, establishing a brand, one brand, sort of like the Rockefeller thing. You know, one brand with a whole bunch of brands combined into one brand, expanding a brand. So that's what we're, we're gearing towards right now. So it's going to be dope. Sounds like a plan. Awesome, man. Awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, we have... I don't know. Say. Yes. We are sort of like philanthropists. <laughs> like we are, we, I ain't never cheated on my woman. With you. <laughs> we are year-long audio Santa Claus. Can I write it off on my taxi? Yes, you can. Sweet. We give gifts every day, jewel, and we have given you guys the gift of Illadel. Take that, that's yours. Yeah. Tell them where the people. Tell the people where they can reach you at. Listen, you can. I don't find think me. we got enough time. <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was definitely a good finish sad right there. Um, Illadelph 215, spell it L T W O O N E F I V E on Facebook. You can find me on Illadelph at my fan page. Um, Twitter, it's going to be Illadelph 2012. And on Instagram, is Illadelph 215. That's 215 the numbers. Google Plus? Google Plus, Illadelph 215. And you can find me also on, on the Ad Records, the fan page. Yeah, yeah. And anywhere else you look, I guarantee you, you yes, will see me he's going to be there. <laughs> look, I'll be looking at my notifications sometimes, like on Facebook. It'll be 15 different notica- notifications from 15 different places, but they all be from you. Yeah, I, I got to check sometimes, make sure I ain't log in his shit by mistake. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what, what, the, what is this? Man. Ladies and gentlemen, we have wrapped the taste on Illadelf. I'm your man, Matt Clutch. And I'll be your boy, Seb. And you are? Illadelf215. we are out. Morning yes, sir. Wake up to it.